about nine or ten songs at least that we're gonna do. And we're gonna figure out a way to, to find some of these uh, other songs that were, you know, um, peppered through the records that we love for different reasons musically. Um, and sort of try to reintroduce them in the live setting. Yeah, and everything's also, there's a story you're trying to tell, but the idea of like looking out into a crowd and seeing people lose their shit in a way that they never would for anything else other than live yeah. music makes them do. It's the greatest feeling in the world to know that you're a part of something that can make somebody get outside Escape. of their comfort zone and not feel self-conscious. We've been doing this for close to 25 years and uh, and each tour seems to be better than the next in a lot of different, in a lot of ways, basically. You know, you're like, wow, this something we did played a part in these people's lives, and we get to sort of all kind of celebrate that for this period of time, and that's a cool feeling. We revisit this material that we had that was such a huge part of our life. Stop everything <laughs> and be like, okay, wait, wait, wait. That just was so messed up. I got to do this again. Mm -hmm. That wasn't even right. I know that's happened before, and I think people can appreciate that sometimes when they're a part of that moment. It's just, Wrong you know, so seriously, Oops. yeah. I actually hate stuff. I know you do. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, God. Yeah. And that also makes me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, the thing about Matchbox is, is you know, we're all pretty individual, um, and this is the thing that we do together.